Hello viewers, you are welcome to this video. Today I want us to look at composite functions. Composite functions. When you say composite functions, what do you mean? Okay, we are talking about let f beside that s mass on to y and g beside that. So we have a function f which is from set x to set y. And we have a function g which is from set y to set z. Now, when there's another function which assigns each element of the set x into the set z, then that such a function is known as composite function. So we have these two functions. So when there's another function which assigns each element of the set x into the set z then that function is known as composite function composite function so in this case the function will be g of f or you can simply say gf yes gf so when you write this one this means that f followed by g Yes, this one also means that f followed by g. If you write f of g, do you see it? Then this one means that g followed by f. Okay. Let's, let's look at a question. Let's look at a question. You can give me something like this. Given that l of x is equal to 3x and g of x is equal to this. Can say find so here's a question. Can say find find i. Can say find i f of g i i g of f i i i f of g of two. I V G of F of say one V F dot G. Yes. So you have been given these two functions and have asked to find this solution. I L of x is 3x and then g of x is this. Now this one f of g this one is the same as f of g of s. Yes, you can simply give me ask you to find this. This is the meaning. And this one is the same as f of g of s. This is the meaning. I did it. And this is equal to what this means is that we should first of all find g of x. So this one will be f of now g of x. Are you seeing it? Wherever you see g of x, you are saying you should write x squared plus 2. So g of x is s squared plus 2. Now this one is f of x squared plus 2. And this is f of x. So to that wherever you see x, you should write x squared plus 2. So when you come here, this one will be 3 times, you have seen x, x squared plus 2. So this one will be equal to 3x squared plus 6. So this one will be uh, f of g, f of g of x. I, I, I've been asked to find g of f. So g of f is the same as g of f of x. The same as g of f of x. So this is g of f of x. f of x is 3x. So in place of f of x, you are going to write 3x. Now at this point, it means that go to the g function. Whenever you see x, you should write 3x. So this is the g function. So whenever you see x, you are going to write 3x. So here, it's going to be 
that's in S. So that will be 3S. All squared because the S is squared. Plus 2. And this is equal to, this one will be 9S squared because 3 squared is 9. Plus 2. So this one will be G of F. Isn't it? Now, you have been asked to find uh, F of G of 2. So I, I, I. F of G of 2. Now, this one will be the same as, look at the board. This one will be the same as F of G of 2. This two. Isn't it? And this one is F of, now this is G of 2. G of 2 means that go to the G function, whatever you see X, then you put 2. So, it means this one will be 2 squared plus 2. And this is F of 2 squared is 4, isn't it? Plus 2 will be 6. So, this one will be F of 6. And F of 6, it means I go to the F function. Whatever you see X, you write 6. So this one will be 3 times 6. And this is equal to 18. Yes. Isn't it? You have this way. Now, US. Another way to do this one is to just, you see that you have F of G of X. So if you like now to find F of G of 2, then it means that your X is equal to 2. So you can just look at this final answer you have for this one. And then, whatever you see as you put two. Yes. So, another way is to say that. So, you can say, or F of G of X. And when you solve it, we had 3S squared plus 6. So, we are asked to find F of G of 2. Then, I will just put two wherever I see X. So, that is going to be 3 times 2 squared plus 6. Now, 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12 plus 6, 18. This is, so you can do it this way or this way. Yes. Now, g of f of 1. g of f of, so let me play this one. This one is iv. iv. So, g of f of 1. This is the same as g of f of 1 this way. Isn't it? And this is equal to, now this means that if you go to the f function, wherever you see x, you should write 1. So if you put 1 here, this one will be 3. So f of 1 is 3. You see, when you put 1 here, that will be 3 times 1, 3. So we are here. This one means you find g of 3. So you go to the g function, wherever you see x, you write 3. So this one will be 3 squared plus 2. 3 squared is 9 plus 2 will be 11. Or, similarly, we can go to, we can look at the, the g of f, the g of f of x function, this one. And then whatever you see x, you put in 1. So, or you can say g of f of x gave us 9 x squared plus 2. So, we are, have been asked to find g of f of 1. It means that x is equal to 1. So I should just go here. Whenever I see x, I should write 1. This is 9 times 1 squared. be 9 plus 2 be 11. So you can see that this is the same as this. So we either decide to do it this way or this way. This is it. So we have already found the value of this. We have already found a solution to this one. You can just put in uh, 1 and you'll be there. Yes. Okay, let's just look at the last one and bring this lecture to an end. Okay, so let me clean this. So the last one, V. V. F dot G. This one means the F function times the G function. Yes, this one is the same as F of X times G of X. Now the f of s is 3s. Isn't it? Times s squared plus 2. Isn't it? This way. So this is equal to 3s cubed plus 6x. 
this. So this is it. So viewers, these are the possible questions we can ask you. Thank you very much for your attention. For more of this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Shamala Junior.